This haul, you guys, is dedicated to Miss Maya Rain. Hey guys, Kiri here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And this right here is my daughter, Maya Rain. She is going to be a four next weekend and I really kind of wanted to throw her some kind of birthday party. But obviously with Corona and everything going on, we can't do large gatherings. And I was just going to kind of let it go this year, just skip like we're doing everything else and reconvene in 2021. But last year, my mother had her stroke three days before Maya's third birthday and they were starting to see some alarm and concern in her condition and so I flew to New York on her actual birthday. So all Maya got was a mini cake and we sang happy birthday to her literally 10 minutes before I got in the car and my husband drove me to the airport. So I've been suffering a little bit from mom guilt and I honestly just truly wanted to do something for her that was super special. So I told her she can go ahead and pick what she wanted for her birthday as far as like a theme, what she wanted, but she's so young and all that fun character stuff, I wanted to wait until we can do a big gathering with a bunch of family and friends. So her and I decided on a mutual theme for her party that we can do like girly and cutesy. It involves summer. It'll still be fun, but it's not like wasting a good theme on just us doing something. So that kind of provoked me for going into the Dollar Tree to see what the Dollar Tree had that I could use for this party. And you guys, I was blown away because this hit the target for everything that I needed. So I picked up a few other things while I was there, but I got all the stuff that I needed for Maya's party, plus a few other fun finds, and so I'm here to share them with you guys. But if this doesn't interest you guys, then I know someone else who is going to have tons of other things that just may interest you. So this video is in collab with my girlfriend Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom, and my girl rocks what she finds at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I adore all of her videos. I love the vlogs about her family and I love her videos where her and I collab often doing things inside of the kitchen. But this is my favorite of hers to watch just because Vanessa finds everything. Everything from food finds to things for her kids to beauty finds, it just, it doesn't matter. If it's out there to be found, she usually finds it. And so I enjoy watching these videos with her and I'm excited to collab with her on a Dollar Tree haul. So I'll make sure to leave all of her information linked in the description box below and on the end slate. So when you're done watching this video, you can go over and head over to her channel and see what she found at the Dollar Tree. But for now, let's get into what I scoped out when I stopped at a brand new Dollar Tree I had never been to before. All right, we've changed batteries, we've repositioned, I got everything set out, and we're ready to go. So I think I'm going to start off with all the other things that I found outside of Maya's birthday party, and then we'll just save that stuff for the end. So one of the things that I wanted to show that I found that I think was so cool and just something that like speaks to me because I'm a big candle lover, but I found these candle making sets. So basically it's a do-it-yourself kit on how to make a candle for a dollar, which I think is so cool but it's also three separate scents so it's like making one of those candles that have the layers so i'll show you here on the side but you can do it any way that you want to like it doesn't have to be straight across i'll show you in one second um but the scents are blueberry magnolia and sea spray melon so it's more of like the blues tones for this one and then it shows you here on the side all the different like directions you don't have to do it straight across they show like this one up and down so i thought that was pretty cool the directions are right there literally telling you right on the box how to do everything and it's four step instructions so it can't be that complicated I'm really excited to try them out. So I found this one and then this one is apple cinnamon with magnolia and then apricot citrus. So that sounds really good. I love anything citrusy. The apple cinnamon made me think fall, especially with the colors. So I may save this one 
for the fall time but either way i'm super excited to give these a try i thought that was pretty neat for a buck so I found more of that morph sand. I was super excited. I went ahead and picked up three more boxes just to give Maya for her birthday, like in her little birthday bag. I got the kids some of this morph sand from the Dollar Tree for their Easter baskets and the kids absolutely loved it. Now when I shared it with you guys in the haul, I had tons of comments saying that this stuff was pretty expensive and it goes for like $10 on Amazon. I had some saying, I hope you don't mind the smell, it reeks of vinegar. And then some said don't bring it in the water that they had heard or they had experienced bringing it in the water even though it says you can cause some kind of chemical burn. So I was a little weary about it. I went on and read some reviews but the kids tested trying it in the water outside and they had no issues so I allowed them to make a bouncy ball and bring it into the tub. I didn't see that it smelled like vinegar. See, could you see that something smells like something? It didn't smell like vinegar to us, um, but the kids had a blast with it. So I got the green one and it shows you right there like the little characters that you can build and it has all different you can morph it it floats it bounces and it says ultra light so i got the green and then i found the orange one and then I also found a yellow one. And I also found more of these little Play-Dohs. I had gotten Mason one, I think that was Toy Story, and then Maya Mini. I think that was the ones that I put in their Easter baskets as well. And my kids just love any kind of dough, Play-Doh, shapes, anything like that. Anything hands-on like sand and dough and all that kind of stuff, that's all what my kids look for and enjoy even when family members and friends have been saying, hey, what can I send Maya for her birthday? That's what I've been suggesting. Hey, she loves hands-on projects. So anything like a kinetic sand or Play-Doh or anything like that, Maya is all about. So uh, I picked her up this one and this one is Frozen 2 and it's a mold and play 3D figure maker. So it comes with red and purple dough and then this one makes Anna. How stinking cute is that? Like, I absolutely love that. She's going to love it, and it's just a, something else to throw in her birthday bag. A few more little things for her birthday bag. So I literally had been seeing these crayons all over the place. I saw it on Instagram. Friends were snapping pictures of it and sending it to me and showing me that all these specialty crayons by Crayola were coming to the Dollar Tree. Now, there's only eight crayons in each box, but because of the specialty kinds of crayons that it is, it is still a really good deal. Usually I encourage people not to get duped by Crayola at the Dollar tree because we see something like Crayola we say oh it's a name brand and we pick it up from the DT but especially during back to school time and stuff they'll run deals for 24 packs of crayons for just 25 cents and they're still Crayola so I try to steer away from Dollar Tree duping me but something like this is a super great deal so they had all of these specialty kinds so this one is pearl this one is metallic and this one is glitter and so I'm super excited to give these to the kids because I have noticed a true passion for art since we have been homeschooling. My kids have put a lot of extra time and effort into the things that they truly love. When they were going to school and then they would come home, that's not really where they wanted to spend their extra time. They would do that kind of stuff on the weekends, but they'd take their tablet time and all of that. But now that we were home and we were putting a lot more time into schoolwork together, I really saw their passion for artwork and all the things that we've been doing since we've been home. So I think my kids are going to be stoked to see these. And this was just a cute little find for Maya's birthday bag because we had went with Vanessa and her family to like this isolated area where they had these individual tree houses just to kind of do like a quarantine vacation and she received a headband from Vanessa's daughter Pearl and she's been wearing it and wearing it and wearing it over and over again but the little material I'm pretty sure Vanessa got it for her from the Dollar Tree and it looks just like this except it doesn't have the flowers on it maybe Pearl's did and the flowers just fell off I'm not sure but the string that's wrapped around the headband has come loose and I've tried to glue it a couple of times but it's not really staying and for the buck like just pick her up another one you know so this one is 
a little cat headband with the blue and pink little roses on it and i just think it's so cute for a dollar i know that maya's gonna get use out of it because she's definitely my girly girl she's going to love all of this stuff so i'm not crafty but i got plans so i absolutely love peonies i don't like the smell of peony but i love the flower itself like fresh peony flowers are just gorgeous and they have such a small window of growth time that when they do come out people are usually all over the place picking up their peonies taking pictures putting them on instagram grove always has some kind of peony floral bouquet in all of their pictures when they advertise their spring line and i've seen trader joe's tons of pictures on instagram of sharing their peonies and i just love them the flower like i said itself dollar tree only had white there's all different colors of peonies and they're kind of crushed a little bit i need to work on putting them together but i saw something on pinterest where you snip the flowers like right here right underneath the leaves so you get rid of all of this or you keep just like a tiny bit maybe this much and you wrap up this far in like twine or some kind of burlap and then twine and it makes a bouquet just like this and then you sit it in like a weaved basket or something like that in the center of a coffee table or something just as a decor piece so i thought hey i'm not crafty but that i can do so i picked these up three of the white ones and like i said i'm gonna go ahead and just put these together and wrap them and leave them as some kind of decor and if you guys don't follow me on instagram it's just 50 shades of mom but i'll make sure to post when i put this all together what it looks like glassware you guys i picked up some glassware now i have tons of stemless wine glasses regular wine glasses any kind of wine glass you can think of there's a specific wine glass for white there's a specific wine glass for red like i said i have a stemless kinds i have champagne i have margarita i have martini there's a glass for everything right but if you've been watching me for any length of time tell me where it is that's right it's packed in a box in the garage because we are still not unpacked and i will not unpack any of those boxes until we get to a new location which again if you guys are following us for a little bit we're this close so i'm really excited people are starting to entertain seeing us again and looking at houses and this extra time has given us an opportunity to reconsider buying again on the table so we're excited about all of that and we will make sure to take you guys along on that journey but once we move and i unpack everything i'll be able to see the things i haven't seen at this point for over a year but for now i just needed some wine glasses because i've been stocking up on my wine in quarantine and then i got nothing to drink it out of like i'm literally drinking it out of a red solo cup like i'm classy like that so i saw these and i figured for a buck it's not a big deal even if i don't even keep them after we move it's just something to have right now so this one was a really pretty shape it's like not round but not square like you see that it's kind of got like the squared off bottom but the rounded top doesn't say what kind of glass it is just says that it's 16 ounces which is perfect for making a cocktail or pouring a glass of wine and then this is just a standard stemless wine glass but i'm already imagining what some champagne and orange juice is going to look like in this cup on sunday morning i found some more of those craft markers you guys and these ones I seriously for the dollar is probably by far the best thing or deal that I've ever scored from the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. I mean, I've ranted and raved about some amazing finds over the past couple of years, but these just write like nothing else. I've collected so many chalkboards for decor over the past couple of years, and I always struggled with just regular chalk or spending money on expensive chalkboard writers to write on these boards, and I just never felt like it looked good. These things write like butter, you guys. I even posted the last time that I bought these on my Instagram story like how it wrote because they're just so awesome they just write so good and it makes you have amazing handwriting even if you don't so this time I got green and gold it was two colors I didn't have I do already have like a few white ones I have a silver one I have a blue one I have a purple one but during the season I go ahead and write on all of my chalkboards and I've never enjoyed it as much as I do right now just because those things are amazing amazing so 
So if you see any of those chalkboard writers at the Dollar Tree and you like that kind of stuff, I promise you it'll be the best investment you've ever made. They last so, so long and they really are worth the dollar. Cards, you guys. Dollar Tree is the place for cards. I always feel like whenever there's some kind of something going on, this is the place that I need to go to. When I was a kid, I used to save all of my cards for everything, for birthdays, whatever, Christmases, graduations, anything, communion, confirmation. If I had a card, I saved it. But as I got older and I began to move to different places, there are certain things that you just can't take along with you. And then now as a mom during like Mother's Day and stuff, I love everyone, but they give me a card. It stays for like a week, put out and then it goes in the garbage so I can't be saving that stuff anymore and I kind of feel like everybody feels like I do some save but for most when we're done viewing it it goes in the trash so I hate to spend like four five six dollars Walmart CVS all these places that sell cards that they sell these like really beautiful cards for super expensive prices so I always do the Dollar Tree they have the American greetings which are two for a dollar and then just recently they added Hallmark and those ones are the full dollar but you can see right here this one is a hallmark you can see the little crown logo there but i'm not going to go ahead and read you all of the cards but i did just get any kind of birthday i have girlfriends with birthdays including my daughter's birthday and then father's day so i stood in the card section for a little while went through mentally everything i was going to need for june and went ahead and picked it up i've only been going to the dollar tree especially with everything going on like once a month right now so i I pretty much grabbed everything I was going to need for June. Like I said, stock up for your cards at the Dollar Tree. Just one candle, you guys. That's when you know I was on a mission. I wasn't trying to look for all the crazy stuff and sniff all the candles and touch everything, but this is one I hadn't seen. It was a soy candle. I believe it's by the Star Candle Company, which all of the Star Candle soy ones have been amazing. Is this Star? Nope, this just says Greenbrier. It's not even the Star Candle Company. But I have had a really, really good, yeah, nothing, just says Greenbrier. That's so strange. I've never even seen like just a Greenbrier candle. But again, I've had really, really great success with the soy ones from the Dollar Tree. And this one says Coconut Amber, and I love anything coconut. And this just screams summer. It's like suntan lotion all over. So, so good. So just the one, but I had to get it. It really, really spoke to me. Gotta love the coconut suntan kind of feel during the summertime. My only two beauty finds, but both of them looked super interesting. So this one is by Spa Life and it's egg white bedtime sleeping mask. And so it's two little mini eggs and they said, oh, it's four. Sorry, it says four facial treatments and there's four little mini egg looking things in here and then when you crack open the egg it has the sleeping mask inside of it that is so super cute i think that's great for a little gift especially for like the cooking mama in your life i feel like this is the perfect spin off of everything that mama loves like doing a little bit of me time and relaxation but also being in the kitchen and then it being like a good egg white based mask that's meant for anti-aging so i'm excited to give this guy a try and then my kid's been all about her bath bombs and i've been picking them up from the dollar tree just because the kids take a bath every other day and they're forever looking for a bath bomb so can't be dropping a bath bomb every single time in the tub every single week but my kids love them and it makes them excited to do bath time and right now whatever excites them I'm all about. But the few ones I've bought from the Dollar Tree lately, they just seem to fall flat. They don't seem to do all the things that I want like a crazy bath bomb to do. I want it to smell good. I want it to fizz. I want it to be something fun for the kids. And all those ones that usually like change color and stuff, those are the ones that are filled with dyes and not the kind of thing I want my kids soaking in. But this one looked pretty different. So this one is by Bath Burst and it is a bubble bombshell. So it is a Greenbrier product, but it's supposed to smell like pineapple and it's supposed to bubble in the tub. And I think that my kids are going to love that. I'm gonna put this in Maya's birthday bag, but I know my kid's gonna be stoked because like I said, she's all about her bath bombs. Have you seen a dustpan this big? This dustpan is like for industrial sized dirt. Like 
maybe what that's pretty much good for what I need for my house with two dogs and three kids but we needed one the one that we have is cracked here at the bottom and I also have two floors so I like to keep a broom on each floor especially since both floors have no carpet it's all hardwood so I'm constantly sweeping every single day and I hate going back and forth with a dustpan so I was like all right I'll pick up one for the other floor but holy cow like I had my choice but I chose the bigger one because why not get more for your dollar but this thing is huge and gigantic and for a buck if it doesn't last too long okay no biggie but unless the kids are like flying this thing around it feels pretty heavy duty and i can't see it not uh lasting for a while so how do you beat a dustpan like i said this big of four dollar we're going to get into my food finds now and then we'll get into the party stuff so something i was super excited to find was these ellie's croissant rolls i've really been enjoying this ellie's brand now being from long island and from new york i'm a bagel connoisseur like i love 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 bagels they don't love me they go straight to my hips my butt and my thighs but i personally love them so when i first discovered the ellie's bagels i was a little weary because i don't buy bagels like this in a bag I would go home to New York and go to the bagel store on the corner and I would buy three or four dozen bagels put them in a giant garbage bag and stick them in my car and take them home and freeze them so I'm usually like I said pretty particular about what I buy but the first few times we tried the Ellie's I was really really surprised they're hearth boiled and hearth baked just like they are on Long Island so when I see them I love them this place had none of the bagels and we're almost out of the bagels I think I have like two or three cinnamon raisin left and then we have none but these are the croissant rolls and everybody has been talking about them everywhere so this says 10 mini croissants from your neighborhood bakery and they stay so super fresh like all their stuff is so super squishy what does it say on here as a date this says sell by june 18th and i think that it's already been a week since i've been to the dollar tree so this still has a good long time and it was sitting there for a good long while with still a good longevity of date so if you see these they last quite a while and i've been anxious to try these particular croissants but we love this brand so if you see yourself some ellie's scoop them up I found more of those big crazy goldfish so the last time that I went to the Dollar Tree I found cheddar ones like taco flavor and they were these big puffy kind of goldfish and I figured Maya would be all about it she loves her goldfish and she loves like taco flavors and things like that so both my husband and I saw them and we were like oh yeah Maya's going to love them and she did she was like Eh, okay about them she likes the big goldfish but she wasn't really feeling the taco flavor which kind of surprised me but then I saw these ones so I know that she already loves the big goldfish but now flavors that are more up her alley so this one is honey barbecue and they're like a big puffy goldfish more like big and dense like a cheese doodle like a puffy cheese doodle so I'm hoping Maya's gonna like these again that's the honey barbecue and then here is the ranch and I know Maya loves her ranch when I make my ranch dressing between Jake and Maya they fight over it so I feel like they're going to love this and it's just another snack for the cabinet for just a buck sorry not sorry but more stuff for Maya she loves onion rings it's like a new discovery for her that she loves Funyuns and all things like that and I wouldn't even know except for the fact that we get the variety fun box we absolutely love that box and it's been coming with so many different things that we don't normally buy that my kids have gotten a chance to try things that I would normally not buy a huge package or a bag of and Funyuns was one of them and like me and my girl were about to go head-to-head -head over some dang Funyuns like that's like a flashback to my childhood and I didn't want anybody touching my Funyuns and my girl came up and started eating my Funyuns and next thing you know my bag was gone sure better for my diet yes Better for my taste buds, not so much. But when I saw these, I'm a TJ Fridays girl. I worked there for years. It's where I learned to be a comma bartender and stuff. And so when I saw these plus onion rings, it just spoke to my girl. So I picked these up for her. I know she's going to love them. And then I found more of the Jolly Time yellow popcorn. So 
I like making popcorn here at home. I do my best if I can to stay with a non-GMO organic type of food when I go out and purchase it. I know you probably can tell by the last few things I just showed you, but for a general rule of thumb, if I'm purchasing something at the grocery store, that's what I try to find and to purchase. It is actually very hard to find a very good non-GMO or organic popcorn to pop in the microwave at home. We've tried a bunch and my kids just like that buttery popcorn and any kind of one that you purchase in the store that falls in that category just generally isn't that good or super expensive. So we have figured out that just a brown paper bag and a third of a cup of any kind of popcorn kernel in the microwave for two minutes pops delicious popcorn. And then we just add our own butter and salt and we're good to go. So these kernels are non-GMO and they're at the Dollar Tree. So how do you beat that? So I always pick this up and when I see it, I always keep our popcorn jar in the pantry full. And whenever my kids have a popcorn craving, we just throw some of this in the microwave and we are good to go. So for me, this is an amazing score for just a dollar. Honestly, I have no idea why I bought these. I will tell you that it was my time of the month while walking through the Dollar Tree, and so any kind of chocolate thing was kind of speaking to me, but I've never seen anything like a chocolate Twinkie at the Dollar Tree before ever, and I thought my husband would want to try this when he's out on the road, just kind of taking it with his lunch. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Honestly, we don't be needing the cakes or nothing, but as a special treat, there's only five in here. I figured, like I said, Hubs would like to take this in his lunchbox, so we're gonna give these a try. Speaking of the husband, I picked him up some energy drinks. He has been loving the Rippets for years and years and years now. When he used to work at Cookout back in South Carolina, their hours were super, super late. Like this restaurant itself was open until 2.30 during the weekdays and then three day, 3.30 on the weekend. So by the time the managers would clean up and get all their employees out and get home, sometimes Daryl wouldn't walk into the door until five, six o'clock in the morning. So energy drinks became his best friend and he fell in love with the Rippets because they're taller at the Dollar Tree as opposed to like a Red Bull that's $2.50 for a tiny can, which of course is my favorite, but you know, I'm bougie like that and I have super expensive taste. So of course I'm going to pick the one that's $2.50 for the tiny little Dixie cup and he would settle for the one that's a big old can for a dollar. But he likes the power one, which is this red one that I picked him up. And then I saw this one, which is the Rockstar Pure Zero in grape, but he does like some of these sugar-free kinds of drinks. So I thought he might be willing to give this one a try, especially because it's grape and that's one of his favorite flavors. And then I saw this. This is an Espresso Monster Vanilla Cream Triple Shot. So I love all sorts of coffee drinks like this. I've never tried a Monster one that's coffee, but Vanilla Cream just sounds so good and the Triple Shot. So if this is good, hubby and I may be fighting over it. And if it's good, the next time I go back, I'll pick up more. But we are constantly on the go or pulling all-nighters. So I have a feeling this is going to come in handy. So now on to some party stuff, but this isn't Maya's party stuff yet. I saw a lot of this like red, white, and blue flag stuff out, and they usually bring it out a little earlier than 4th of July necessarily because people will use this kind of thing for Memorial Day. Memorial Day, we weren't doing any kind of barbecues. In fact, I made potato soup and grilled cheese on Memorial Day. It was raining and pouring and gross. So even if we could have convened as a giant group or in a party, we wouldn't have been able to anyways. So this stuff is for 4th of July. Even if we can't do like an event by then, I'm sure just my girlfriend Marissa or Vanessa, somebody will just get together. Even if it's just us, this is fun for staying at home for some kind of barbecue. And I love that the Dollar Tree has you covered for making your party cute, but still for a dollar. That's why I love the stuff that I got for Maya's party. But for my two little ones, my almost four-year-olds and my six and a half-year-olds, I just got these little flag, like light up glow sticks just for them to use at night. And I got each one of them a two pack of these little red, white, and blue party poppers. It just says point away from yourself and others, twist the bottom, 
indicated in the direction until the popper ejects confetti and it's red white and blue confetti streamer so i thought that would be fun for the kids just to celebrate fourth of july with and then i got a few of these like fun little food holders I just love all that stuff, especially for like taking pictures on my Instagram and stuff, or maybe doing some kind of, if I do any kind of cooking video or collab or something like that, where we're showing really cool things you could do for a barbecue or for 4th of July. These things are always just good for plating. The kids love to eat out of fun dishes, so it's just fun. So here is just the little like flag stars and they're on little hot dog holders. I thought those were super cute. And then there's only six paper trays in each one of these. So I had the same pattern with the little stars, so I got that. But then they also had the pattern with the big giant American flag on it, so I got that one. We're a family of six, so one of these does us out and then if we have other people over or just if they throw away one and they want to use another one then we have more than one but i thought those were super cute and then oh i'm knocking glasses over and then look at the straws you guys how stinking cute are those so i really really love those and i think the kids are going to have fun with these on fourth of july plus i saw like something really cool and i'm doing that with maya also making a cupcake and since her party's gonna have lemonade included in it. I saw like taking a piece of the straw and sticking it into the cupcake and it makes the cupcake look like lemonade. So I thought I could do something fun like red, white, and blue with cutting some of the straws and making it on top of some kind of cupcakes. Otherwise the kids will just use these to drink out of, but they were super cute and there's 18 of them for just a buck. And then these bowls, you guys, how cute is this? Two of these in here for just a dollar. Yes, they're paper bowls. I mean, you're going to toss them, but it's just, it goes along with your theme. It matches everything else. And there's two of them in here. So, I mean, it's because it's paper. You can't like use this for potato salad or macaroni salad or something. I mean, I guess you probably could. You could line it with wax paper or parchment paper and then put the other stuff on top of it or put a, another bowl, like a clear bowl inside of here and it would still look good on the table. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but either way, I just thought this was super cute for a dollar and that's it that I picked up for the 4th of July stuff, but just something fun for whatever we do, even if we just don't do anything. Fun plate wear is fun for my kiddos and if it makes them happy, then it makes me happy. So now on to Maya's party and let me show you how the Dollar Tree hooked me up. So Maya and I decided that lemonade or pink lemonade would be something really fun to do for her party. So when I had a sprinkle baby shower for her, that's what we did as the theme was pink lemonade. And everything from the drinks, the favors, everything that we did was all pink and pink lemonade themes. I mean, she is my youngest and my only girl, my last, so she definitely gets the cutesy pink baby whatever we have to do to exploit the joy of having a girl we've been doing literally since her sprinkle. So when I showed her some of the stuff, like the pictures, and I still have like favors from my sprinkle, she thought it was so cute and she loved the idea. And then Dollar Tree took care of the rest. So how stinking cute are these cups? So they're plastic cups does it say how many ounces do, 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 do. nope just says a tumbler they're green briar but they had them in two different kinds so you have your pink which has strawberries kiwis watermelon and cherries so anything that would make a lemonade that pink color and then over here you have just your plain old yellow lemonade inside of the mason jars with regular lemons and oranges and there's even like a pink lemons right there on the cup so super cute right and so what i thought is that i'm going to use these as the kids favors so i got like really fun fancy straws for them and pink lemonade lollipops and pink lemonade gummies like fruit snacks and this is going to be the whole that holds everything. I even ordered chocolate molds in the shape of lemon wedges and lemon slices so I can do some yellow and some pink and give everybody like little pieces of decorative chocolate inside. I will be keeping these inside in the air conditioning until I give them out, but I thought they would just be super cute. So this kind of stemmed this whole idea and now here comes the rest. 
you guys can you even because i can't i'm so 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 excited so look at the lemon slice plates these are going to be the cake plates but we're going to do cupcakes so this will be the plates that the kids use for their cupcakes there's 12 in here and i believe we only have six kids going so i'm not really concerned this will be more than enough but we have some 12 lemon of the cake plates and then here are the lemon wedge napkins like can you even i just think that is so stinking cute i love that and then you have the plateware with all the lemons on it the different things of lemonade pink lemonade and then regular lemonade and then some kind of like watermelon strawberry something kind of lemonade but i bought two packages there's 12 in each and they're huge squares does it say yeah they're nine by nine so that's a nice big plate but i think that's really awesome it's gonna fit with her theme so so good and i love them like the dollar tree for a buck if you were to go to party city these plates would be four dollars a piece and you would only get eight so thank you dollar tree even the tablecloth you guys look how stinking cute that is i can't she is going to be over the moon i'm so excited for her even the decor like of course they always have their little signs right but look at that that fits perfect it says hello summer we can even use this afterwards or she can hang it in her room i thought that was perfect for a dollar completely fits our theme it's got a little bit of glitter i love the nice big glittery pink lemon slice down there so super cute and then this one says fruit stand lemonade and strawberry picking and it shows the arrows in the different direction again just another cute decor piece hot pink forks and knives and spoons i mean can you even with that that is so perfect and then i also got these little like sunday cups almost we're not doing ice cream heck no and not in the heat but i will use these for something i haven't figured out just yet what i'm going to use them for but that is our color scheme right there is the pink and yellow so i thought these little cups would be super cute I found cute little umbrellas in the pink and green so I got those for the kids to feel all fancy in their drinks only one balloon but I ordered some other balloons on Etsy and on Oriental trading so we'll just use those but I did found one of those four ones in the gold that you just blow up so that'll be good the ones that you just like blow up with the straw and of course you need candles so i got this one that says happy birthday with the rainbow number four and then i got this one that says birthday girl with all the pink little candles around it and holy cow this hanging decoration like paper stuff i've never seen any of these before but i am so excited to play with them just because i've not seen them and you guys they're a dollar so this is a hanging decoration in yellow of tissue pom-pom garland like you can see all the different ones that you make and it shows on the back like how many are in there and then you just pull the strings and pull them together and like make a pom-pom and then it'll be a garland so i thought that was super cute and they had the same thing but those are bigger like it's just two giant ones but they're pink so i thought those were cool so i got the light pink then they had it in dark pink so i got that super cute and then they had a yellow one but it's not like the pom-poms this one's like tinsel oh my goodness i can't and here is the dark pink in like that tinsel kind of garland and then here is also that dark pink in like that big puffy kind of tissue garland with all the different ones in the back it says six pom-poms and it makes a nine foot garland so i think that is amazing all these decorations you guys like this is just a dollar so put all this together and what i'll be able to do to decorate even the smallest of spaces is just gonna look amazing like she's just gonna be so overwhelmed and i'm so excited for her because being that she doesn't remember having a birthday party last year because she didn't have one she doesn't remember anything from the year before i mean she's only going to be four so she doesn't remember her second birthday or her first birthday or anything so in her mind she doesn't ever even remember having a birthday so i'm super excited all these little touches are just gonna make her day and if you guys want to see like a full 
party haul like everything that I picked up from her for her for her party uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to share a video like that I want I can link like all of her stuff that I found on Etsy and things like that just in case you guys want to do any kind of summer themed or pink lemonade or lemonade themed party maybe some of this will just give you guys some ideas if you're not following me on Pinterest you can find me there I have a whole board of Maya's fourth birthday with all these pink lemonade or lemonade themed ideas so I can be sure to share that with you guys as well okay you guys so that's it for this time's trip to the Dollar Tree I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to go over and check out Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom leave her a little unicorn emoji so she knows that I sent you and if you're coming over from her channel thanks so much for sticking around this whole time I hope you did enjoy and consider sticking around and enjoying some other videos from me like I said I generally post a Dollar Tree haul about once a month during the holiday season it definitely climbs up to a little bit more than that but for right now we're just sticking at once a month I love you guys all so so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys